Bell. My name is Sam Bell. I'm the state senator elect from District 5. When I was uh, knocking on doors across a whole bunch of neighborhoods in our city, I heard the same message on this project, whether it was in Hartford Park, Regency Plaza, Mount Pleasant, West End, Federal Hill, Onlyville. People in our city are consistently opposed to this project as it currently exists. But the reality is, we need, as a city, to come together and understand that we should make projects work. We need to know why it is that so many residents, we need to listen to the people of Providence that have concerns to come up with ways to address it. Which is why I commend the committee for having this hearing to re-examine this project. We need to understand that at a time we have huge affordable housing shortages, people are struggling to find an affordable home for us to spend so much money on subsidizing luxury housing, it's problematic. We need to understand that parks and public spaces are important to the growth of the I-95 plan and having a development that is so hostile to the planning and the feel of the park is a problem. But I also agree with the governor who has said that we need a middle ground. And I agree with the mayor who has said that this middle ground does need to involve a new site. We have right here a rendering of what was supposed to be built at 110 Westminster Street, which is now an eyesore, an open parking lot in the middle of our city. It's a place where many of these design elements were thought out, where there was a plan for parking, a plan to make a tall building work within the city, a plan that was supported consistently by the residents of our city. If we're looking for a new site, this is a perfect new site, and I encourage the committee tonight to think about ways that we can come together and come up with a proposal that will make this development something that people in the city want. If consistently, when large developments come to our city, we refuse to work with the developer to find a way to make the development something that supports the city, something that the people of the city wants, that addresses very real concerns of the people of our city, the consistently developments are going to run into opposition. Development in our city will be a political battle. And it won't be about using our influence, using the city government's power, using the state government's power to make developments support our city, developments that work for our city, and developments that our city is going to love. And I encourage the committee to take up the challenge that the governor, the mayor, and the people of Providence have put before the committee tonight to find a way to get the developer to come up with a project that works for this city. Thank you.